carry me to the fountain in old Hiram Street. The water there be healing me, bathe me by the crying tree. Back in 1963, in a backyard down in La Feria, a stone's throw from Mexico, a farmer found water flowing from his eight-year-old acacia tree. Some say it came down from the leaves, but from the heartwood there it seeped as dark as tea and rusty sour, it filled the bucket every hour. He told his neighbors, who told their friends, calls were made and letters sent, and by the end of that very week, the legend of the crying tree was born. People came from all around to see the tree and holy ground and touch the blessed water, and perhaps to swallow down a solitary drop or two. They sang and prayed and rubbed their heads and washed the water on their skin, for they believed it gave them hope to cure them of their miseries there beneath the crying tree. Carry me, oh, carry me to the fountain in old Hiram's tree. The water there be healing me, bathe me by the crying tree. They came from near and they came from far. They came in buses, trains, and cars. They crowded into that tiny yard, surrounded by a barbed wire fence, and each one paid 50 cents to have a cup to cure his pain there beneath the crying tree. They gathered the water in paper cups and mason jars with rags and buckets. They'd given up on doctor's cures and wasted money on worthless schemes, and now they bet their hopes and dreams on the miracle of the crying tree. The preacher said it was the devil's work, but nothing stopped the crowds. Thousands of them now returning for relief of painful backs and feet, a hopeful cure for aching knees, viruses, and sad diseases, to liberate them from their worries and their countless maladies, singing songs and gently humming there beneath the crying tree. Carry me, oh, carry me to the fountain in old Hiram Street. Water there be healing me, bathe me by the crying tree. One dark night, an old man led a blind girl by the hand, paid his pennies for a cup, and got down on his knees. He took a sip, but not too much, and gave the girl the drinking cup, and he said a prayer quietly there beneath the crying tree. Right then and there, a storm came up, and it rained so hard the yard flooded, and lightning struck, and everyone was so amazed to see the crying tree ablaze. The acacia tree burned to the ground, the water stopped without a sound, and all the afflicted souls left town, and after half a century, forgotten was the crying tree. Carry me, oh, carry me to the fountain in old Hiram's tree. The water there be healing me, bathe me by the crying tree. Every now and then in local lore, you might hear an extraordinary story about a blind girl with hazel eyes that were restored from a cruel disease by a doctor down in La Ferry. She was cured, but who's to say, by science or by a prayer, or a lightning strike on a lone acacia in a muddy yard down in La Ferry. So if by chance you should find the hidden path to Hiram's field, cast about for a muddy spot and get down on your knees. Breathe deep, clear your mind, Lend an ear, for you might hear those ancient words so sincerely sung that freed the hearts and healed the minds of a thousand souls neath the lone acacia some would call the crying tree. Carry me, oh, carry me to the fountain in old Hiram's tree. Water there be healing me, bathe me by the crying tree. Carry me, oh, carry me to the fountain in old Hiram's tree. Water there be healing me, baby, by the crying tree.